new to our channel or to the Making Home series, this is a series about making my house that I bought almost two years ago into my home. I actually have no idea how to do this. Like, I, I don't even really know where to start. Water, we don't serve water here. Rachel, I think I might hate it. And thanks to Salesforce for sponsoring a portion of this video. So far, I've renovated the whole house and decorated the living room, the bathroom, the bedroom, almost every interior space. In the last couple episodes, we've been focusing on the exterior. There is still a lot to do up here. Shall we hit it? <laughs> In those episodes, you learned about my plans for the space. I started some demo, lots of cleanup was done. My construction team came in and demoed. They also did some front stone work. They also redecked. We built a dream storage area for waste and garbage. <laughs> and I even refinished a new door, which leads me to where we are now. The contractors have come in since I was away and installed my new door, which is looking fabulous with the new Alfred lock. And in this episode, we need to finish everything. That means landscaping, staining the decks, painting the garage, so many final touches to bring this whole space together. It's a lot of work. <laughs> But I'm gonna get started with some plant shopping and I'd love it if you got started by subscribing if you haven't already because we would definitely love to see you here more often. I think my first stop is going to be the nursery so I can figure out what the plant game situation is and then we'll get back and get gardening. Oh my God, you get 25% off. You get 25% off. This is great, this is what I need. Something evergreen that'll look good when it's winter in the backyard. Do you wanna come home with me? I need to take this one on a date so it can tell me a little bit more about itself because I don't even know its name. It just says annual. Annual what? Pretty dumb. I feel like I'm kind of saving these guys. They were left behind after the whole season. Come with me. I've always wanted a jungle car part two. We filled her up. There's a lot to tidy up in the front yard and the back garden bed was totally empty until now. These are called tiny tough stuff and they will grow to be a small flowering bush. And before I plant any more, I want to prep some thrifted planters by spray painting them to match the color scheme. So I toyed with many ideas of what to do in this spot here. You guys might remember that I had French doors here already but they were kind of falling apart, glass was broken, so they needed to be replaced. So here we are, I found these, of course, online, secondhand. They're really heavy, um, and also they're very wide, which is good, because these are going to be like barn door style sliding doors. I actually have no idea how to do this. Like, I, I don't even really know where to start. I don't know if the ground is level back here, and if we can just picture sliding doors trying to slide open when nothing is level. I wouldn't be surprised if this ends up not happening and I don't know, I just put plywood up. <laughs> okay, I think the first step is to take all of this hardware off because obviously we don't need the hinges. We're not gonna need these knobs. I think that's step one. I'm overwhelmed. So here are the garage doors. I really had limited options. New custom doors, like 10 grand. I got a quote from a door refinishing company that specializes in garage doors like these, four grand to get these 
properly refinished at to, to a point where I can paint them. The best solution we're gonna go with right now is using Bondo, which is an automotive like body filler. It's gonna be a lot better than any kind of like wood filler because we're dealing with a big gap here. It's easily sandable and since I'm painting it, hopefully nobody's the wiser except for the entire internet that I just told my secret to. It's kind of a two part situation here, similar to an epoxy where we have our one part, a little bit of this hardener, we mix it together and we have minutes to work with it before it solidifies. This is gonna take a couple coats. Once it was dry, which definitely does not take long at all, I go ahead and sand it down, making sure to wear my safety gear. But let's get back to those side garage doors and install the sliding hardware. Pretty good. Feels really nice. So where can it stop? The same but like when it's way. closed, it'll be like that. Yeah. Pretty good. Looks great. Oh, oh. hi! What hi. The f I've just been standing here observing. They look amazing. Okay, I had to run to the hardware store this morning to get some deck stain because it's deck staining day. I asked the contractors who built the deck to do this, but apparently you have to let the wood dry out for a month or two, so here we are. I'm ready to stain. I've never stained a deck before. I have my semi-transparent stain. It looks very gray, which I'm, I wasn't going for gray, I was going for like dark brown, similar to the dark brown of my brick. But I did test it out and I think the warmth of the the wood plus, you know, the cool tone will equal hopefully the perfect brown tone. Normally, apparently, they sell samples the same way that they sell paint samples, but they were out of the sample version, so we're just gonna go for it. So I also bought this fancy little little deck brush. It's like a mop, but for putting on deck stain. So I think this will be a really good option. And then my only other goal is not to paint my, not to stain myself into a corner. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Better dry more brown than gray, I swear. Looks good like the teal looks good. Uh, uh, too soon! I'm just kidding. I'm gonna let it dry for a second, but I think I hate it. It's so blue. Even in the test spot, I feel like it did not look this blue. I could cry. What the heck? Rachel, I think I might hate it. I waited. It looks it looks less blue now. It's kind of like when you paint something black. I feel like black always has a blue undertone until it dries. Like you can even see, like that has a very blue tone. There's there's hints of it there, but it's definitely not that blue. So I think we're okay, and I'm gonna continue. As I move on to the back deck, here are some things that I learned. I'm using a brush to stain in the cracks, and instead of trying to stain in patches going across multiple boards at a time, I switched to just trying to complete one whole board so that the stain was a nice smooth finish and it wasn't patchy. Still undecided whether I hate or love the color. Maybe it's just okay. Maybe I don't love or hate it. I can just be okay with it. Good morning, it's the next day and sometimes you literally have to sleep on it because I love the deck color now. It's actually so perfect. 
But we need to keep moving on and that includes painting the garage. But of course we're gonna start with primer. Okay, as you can see, we have the primed door. I went ahead and spray painted the hinges black since I wanna make them pretend that they're like cast iron. They definitely probably are cast iron because they're super old and they have about 300 layers of paint on them, but this was the best way to bring them back to their glory. And then I'll just cut around them when I put on this paint color, which I'm so excited for. So I chose the Aura line by Benjamin Moore. This one is good for exterior and it's the color Cabbage Patch. So obviously it's green. I chose a slightly darker shade green than my front door. And as you can see here, I don't know what this is from. Is this my front door or is this my fireplace? I don't know. I, lo I love green, but I'm hoping this really is dark because I, I don't want it to stand out too much. I mean, pretty good. How does it look with the fence? The fence, the deck. Oh yeah. Just natural beauties, those are. Okay, let's get to it. It's like subtle, which is nice. It's not like brick green. It's not in your face. So we have a couple of lights to install back here. I actually ordered this one like months ago and I've been waiting to install it. So this guy is gonna go in the garage. I'll show you why it was a really good find. But this one I actually just ordered to replace this one. It just doesn't feel overly right for the space. So let's take a look at what I ordered here. Ooh. Came with two, I'll just have to sell the other one. Also, I really liked this one because it didn't have an integrated LED, which so many lights nowadays do. But I don't like that because what if the color temperature is wrong? I don't know, what if the light bulb breaks and then the whole fixture is garbage? I don't know. This is nice though. Oh, I see. Oh my God, there's so many wasps now. They're mad because I took down their home. And I know because you guys are wondering, did I turn off the breaker? Yes, I turned off the breaker. Did I turn off the breaker? I don't wanna die. Actually, I turned off the breaker to the whole house, so I gotta work quickly because my tenant is upstairs. Don't want her to be without power for too long. I'm glad this is reality and not like some fancy show because then my hands can look like this. This was like some network TV show. Somebody would be coming in cleaning my hands. But also that's not a bad thing either. If I just got like on the spot manicures. Anyways, I do my own stunts. Looks good. I like that better. What do you think, Rachel? Oh, perfect. You like it? Yeah, a lot better than the last one. Oh my, ah! It's like gray. Are you expecting black? Yeah. Honestly. What the f is this? What the f is this It's like you can't really tell, but I can also paint it. So remember how I was just like, I hate integrated LEDs. This one is an integrated LED, but the reason I needed it is because it's hard to find a light other than the one that was just up here, which is like a simple flush mount. It's hard to find a light like this that had a long enough arm, which I probably should have opened it before this exact moment. 
and I would have seen that A, it's not really black, it's kind of more gray, and B, it's like a little tight. Dane's face. I don't know. Not my house. What if I just... I don't really know what the other option would be. <laughs> I feel like it's working. Barely. Yeah, but look at the light now. Like the light's not leveled at all. <laughs> like this is the longest goose snack of all the goose snacks, you know? You know? But like, the goose snack is the part that doesn't work. Wait. You go up to your door and tell me if you feel the same way. Yeah, that doesn't <laughs> look great. It's better than what was up there. I kind of disagree. <gasps> Can we put the one you put, took off there on here? Yeah. It wasn't an awful light. Ironic. Yeah, it's not great. It's not great. Ideally, I wanted something long. Like, what's in my basement? Do you know about my bathtub? Yeah. Yeah. Circle back. I gotta turn back on the power. Nobody touch that, okay? Okay. <laughs> it worked. Looks good. Well, since Miss Gooseneck didn't work out, I am going to see if there's anything else available online. Okay, got that on order. It should come in time. We will see. But in the meantime, I saw I got this package. So let's take a look at what's inside. I ordered these guys from Home Depot. And I'm definitely gonna be doing hardware on these garage doors as well as the sliding doors. But I also ordered some from Lee Valley and let's see how that differs. I didn't know if I wanted to do like one style on one side, one style on the other, just so that it was a little bit different and not so matchy matchy. Okay, so this is the more, the less delicate option. This is more of a, a delicate option. You know what I'm thinking? Hmm. <laughs> I think on these little sliding doors, we do the little, the little delicate moment. And then I think on the big front doors, we do the, the big one. Good idea. Thanks, Steve. You're welcome. That was easy. I'm pretty good at making decisions today. <laughs> no, dude. It's, it's dude, not. Huh? It's way too short. Oh my god. Way too short. So, my friend Dane just gave me a good idea, and maybe I move this over so it's going through this piece of wood, which is a lot thinner. Bigger issue now I have to patch this. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. This is what we needed. A little pokey boy sticking out the back. Hold on, gotta get out the weirdest tool ever known to man. Have you guys ever seen this before? Why not just an Allen key? Tell me, why not just an Allen key? And why is it not fixed? You put it in these little holes and then somehow you tighten this. That's all right, that's okay. You're gonna pump our gas someday. Um. You know, bring it on. I'm a bad female. What? And I didn't really watch all the bring it ons. Don't come for me, audience. Who, guys, who wants an episode on <laughs> making Rachel sit down and watch all of the bring it ons? I'll react heavy. Vlog channel coming soon. We got a lot done today, I'm really happy with it. I will say that resetting this whole middle drive was on my list, but as you guys know, I've had to scale back a little bit just based on timelines and budget. So we're getting real budget since I don't yet have a lawnmower or weed whacker. 
and we're gonna try to trim it up a little bit down here. But I'm really looking forward to tomorrow because it's another shopping day and my dad's coming to town. So my plan for today, I have some thrifting that I need to do, um, a couple more plants that I need to buy, I'm moving some electrical with my dad, just lots of supply shopping so that tomorrow's kind of final touch day goes off with no hitches. We got this. The day is ours. Let's just talk it through. We're gonna fix up some garage electrical while also adding an outlet to the exterior of the garage. Perfect. We don't want to be any shorter than this because we'll hit that. We'll hit the two by four right here. Okay. 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 That's it. It's no, no going back now. We dead. Did we turn off the breaker? Did we turn off the breaker? Did we turn off the breaker? I don't wanna die. Also, so if you guys don't know, where there's like a wet area, I'm sure you guys have noticed this in your kitchen, in your bathroom, exterior plugs have a GFI outlet with a little reset button. This guy, reset button. This one's white, you can't really see it too well. But this did not have it. And I was like, Dad, shouldn't I have this? So we're putting in a GFI here, which will now apply to all of the power here since everything comes through here. You don't care, but now you know. Perfect. Okay, so tapped into this outlet here, brought it around right there. So now I have a working outdoor outlet. Okay, all done with the electrical. It is time to hit a couple more stores before I think I have everything I need to complete this makeover tomorrow. Um, one of the best little Facebook market finds ever. This couple, and they make their own little statues concrete he's so sweet too i was like i don't know which size and he's like just come back tomorrow if you don't like it so sweet honestly that was the highlight of my day i'm really excited to see this uh, bird bath fountain thing i'm gonna do <laughs> So this portion of my video is sponsored by Salesforce. And what you guys may not realize is that while I'm filming any video, I'm constantly stepping away to respond to emails, team members, watch cuts, or deal with other very important business. Salesforce is a customer relationship management tool that is easy to use, set up, and maintain for just $25 a month. Now more than ever, small businesses need to move to an all digital world to support customer, partner, and contact requirements. This means better organized messaging, customer responses, marketing, and of course schedules. As our projects and the Sawyer Girls have grown, we've had to evolve and adapt the way that we do things. And evolve to meet customer and partner needs as well as how we manage our contacts in a work from anywhere world. Salesforce makes this easy because as a small and growing business, you don't have to worry about outgrowing your CRM. You can upgrade quickly and easily at whatever rate your business continues to grow. If you're a small business owner, I'm sure you relate to the importance of managing your current relationships while also trying to generate new business. With 
with Salesforce, we've been able to streamline our lead generation so that anytime somebody fills out a form, their contact information is stored right there in the CRM, allowing us to manage and build on relationships. What's cool about Salesforce is that when I need to get a message out, I can be as targeted or as broad as I'd like because personalization is definitely really important when reaching out to our contacts. If you like staying organized and growing your business, I would definitely suggest giving Salesforce a try for just $25 a month. Thanks again to Salesforce for sponsoring this portion of my video. I think the sun is setting today. I will see you tomorrow where we put the final touches on this whole place. Ah! Okay. What, what color are we feeling for this boy? So one of today's tasks is getting some decor up on the fence. Mounted wall planters are a great option, but these need some drainage holes and a quick paint job. I don't know if I like it, but... You know sometimes people just rub mud into things? Oh yeah. That's a vibe. Is it a vibe? Is that a vibe? The worst part about any project, really, is just the prep. The prep usually takes longer than it actually takes to DIY anything. So here we are. I'm just gonna prep this mirror because the brass is not quite the vibe. So while I wait for that stuff to dry, um, I'm going to try to turn in this turn this little burr bath into a fountain. And to do that, I bought this solar powered little fountain pump online. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we will try it out. So I think that we just suction. We just put that on the bottom. I'll attach this in a minute. Also, it comes with all these little heads, so we can we can figure out what zhuzh we want. What type of water zhuzh? And I was informed recently that um, birds like moving water. But wait, this isn't even for the birds. It's a bird bath, what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you hear those children? Yeah. You hear the traffic? The best part about a water fountain is that it kind of like drowns out that noise. And the reason I want one is because my neighbors have one. I'm like, oh, it sounds so pretty. And maybe birds will come. I think it's more likely that raccoons will be like, water fountain? <laughs> hey, but we like that, don't we? My mom one day was like, here, take this pail of rocks. Because apparently my grandma was collecting them, which is very sweet. So I'm going to use these rocks, I think, in my fountain to kind of hide this and also keep the water in there. That's my logic. These are really pretty. Freaking acorns? What the heck? Do you think my grandma collected acorns or do you think a squirrel found its way into this bag? Look how pretty these rocks are. Oh man. I feel like grandma did something bad. I feel like you're not supposed to take rocks. Is this like a map? Oh my gosh. Grandma. <laughs> Myrtle Beach State Park. You guys cannot get mad at me. This is this is my grandma situation. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's much better. Oh my goodness. Grandma, I have questions. Sunny does it need to be? <gasps> Wait, what was that? It's <gasps> <laughs> so cute. No <laughs> way. <laughs> like, look at the air that's getting. Ironically, I didn't get one that plugged in because I was like, I don't have a plug. Guess what? I just weaved up here. 
So Rachel, yeah. I'm just gonna need you to stand right here for the rest of the day. <gasps> the more sunny it gets, the higher it goes. Oh, sh Well, <laughs> what lid do we want? I like the like little, the little bubble. bubble. Well, yeah, especially because then it doesn't go everywhere. Thank you. <laughs> Concept, like Concept? Good. 10 out of 10. Execution? You tell me. <laughs> Kitsch but cute! <laughs> Stupid thing. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. So I really wanted to get some lighting in the back here above the couch and I have put up three sets of string lights of which squirrels have chewed through. So this is my next plan which is these little solar powered lights from Ikea. This is a basket <laughs> and maybe we'll just make a little like chandelier moment hanging from the tree but it'll be hanging from the tree with like chain instead of any kind of cords. Why do squirrels like cords? I really don't know what the legalities are around drilling into a tree that's not on your property but hangs over your property. But I think like anything over my property, I, it's fair game. One time we had a pumpkin in our backyard and it grew into our neighbor's backyard and they just decided it was their pumpkin and took it and we saw it on their front steps. Yeah, I don't blame them. Same in this situation, I do not blame them. This is not your property. <laughs> I have to clean up this, wait, do I? But this is guy, this, yeah. whose territory is that? Squirrels. <laughs> it's squirrels territory. <laughs> okay, so maybe a little, I think I need a little pilot hole. Remember that time the squirrels chewed the string lights so I didn't put up string lights, but instead I put in stuff in their tree? Oh, you don't want me to put string lights on the fence? Okay, well I'm taking over your tree. Oh yeah. Love it. A vibe? Definitely a vibe. This is better than string lights. Wow. You heard it here first. So while we're on this lighting kick, I'm going to install some string lights here. Under this little pergola area, I just think it'll be cute. Make it more aesthetic. <laughs> Atmosphere, actually. I care more about the lighting vibe than the actual look of string lights, if that makes any sense. Shattered piece dropped and shattered into more pieces. I need to get some shoes on. Okay, let there be light. Should we see? Okay, so believe it or not, this light replacement came in the nick of time, and I just hope it's the right size. Simple, nothing crazy. It's really hard to find one that like clears these doors and everything, you know? I mean, I think we're okay. 
Did I turn off the breaker? Yes, I did. one of the last big things to do so I think it's Let's take a look at how this face turned out. I can barely remember what this place looked like before, but we do have video proof that it was messy, dull, and not at all cohesive. I think the dark wood tones, blacks and greens really play with the color of the brick and the whites of the windows, which were something that I really couldn't change. This part of the backyard was arguably the worst with the weird downspout situation, dated lattice, and all of the cracked concrete. Now it's sleek and clean and the tones are so easy on the eye and the built-in garbage storage is not gonna lie, probably my favorite part of the whole backyard. I'm such a nerd. And this, this is exactly what I had envisioned. A cozy space where I can hang out on a Sunday afternoon or a Thursday evening with friends throughout hopefully every single season. The sliding doors are a great choice because it gave me more freedom with the furniture layout, which speaking of, the Lubeck sectional from Article is definitely one of the stars of the entire outdoor space. This little pergola was one of the things I fell in love with when touring the home. So I'm glad that with a few small or like kind of majorish changes, I've been able to bring a new spacious and modern life to it. But with so many practical elements like the extendable table and benches that give access to garbage bins. And why do string lights make any space automatically better? Honestly, I love everything so much, but I'm sure I'll see you in the comments where we'll chat more about your thoughts. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Making Home and I'll be sure to see you next time. Bye.